So if you want good long-term knee health, then you have to start implementing knee exercises where your knee passes in front of your toes. The old paradigm that keep your knees behind your toes is totally wrong. I've known this for years, especially as I got into Olympic weightlifting, because if you look at the top Olympic weightlifters who are lifting hundreds and hundreds of pounds in a snatch, for example, down like this with the knees way in front of the toes, even in front of the uh, hip crease or over the toe out this way with no pain and no problem. And when I used to have knee pain, um, I wasn't doing Olympic lifting and I wasn't doing a lot of knees over toes stuff. So I learned about it initially just by observing Olympic weightlifting and doing Olympic weightlifting. Now, as you age, you generally get knee problems because you're not using your knees fully. You sit in a chair like this, knees behind the toes. You never get to that full range in the joint. Very important, right? Look at indigenous cultures that are always sitting next to a campfire when they're 80 with no knee problems and no knee pain, sitting like this, right? When they go to the restroom in the morning, sitting like this. I used to not be able to sit like this because it hurt too much. Now I can sit like this for a long time with no problem, pushing those knees forward with no problem and squatting hundreds of pounds on my back or on my front. Now, more recently, I have um, been following Ben Patrick, in the, known as the Knees Over Toes guy. So if you don't know him, go check out his channels. He's got amazing stuff on this. But basically, if you come over here, get a closer look, something like a slant board, you can really get those knees over toes. Now, if you have a lot of knee pain, a lot of knee problems, this is not where you would start, right? You wouldn't start right here. You would start just possibly working to get into a squat, to a box, or to a bench, squatting up. Over time, you would want to lower that bench to plates, right? You can start with a high box like this, where it's down here, squatting up, down here, squatting up. Eventually, you want that to get lower and lower. There are a lot of ways you can make it lower and lower. Just find something. And eventually, where you're squatting all the way down here, and over time, you can add in all kinds of exercises, and Ben Patrick has a lot of these. But eventually, even under load, so I grab something like a kettlebell. Even under load, you should be able to do these with no problem, with no pain, with those knees way in front of the toes, right? This is our potential, not only as athletes, that increase full range and power through the muscles and the joints, but our potential as we age to not have knee pain, not have knee problems, and ideally avoid knee surgery altogether. If you wanna improve knee pain and knee problems, improve athletic potential and ability, improve longevity in the knees, and help the joints long-term, you need to start doing things that use the full range of motion of the knee and do it slowly and incrementally. Follow guidance from somebody who knows what they're doing, what they're talking about. Ben Patrick's the Knees Over Toes guy is a great guy to take a look at. Um, you can follow my channels as well and I'll post more of these like routines you can do. Let me know where you're at with your knees and I can post some things that have helped me over the years to improve my knees to where, knock on wood, they are pain free under hundreds of pounds of load Whereas before, just body weight used to hurt. So uh, that's it. Thank you. Take care.